Hey guys, this is Abdel with uh, Ratio Trading here, and uh, I wanted to take a look at a couple markets here, some stocks that I got in uh, specifically today uh, looking for the upside. Um, so the first one I want to start off with is Tesla. Um, Tesla has been a wonderful Fibonacci uh, trading stock uh, over the past couple of years. If we go and take a look at the weekly here, um, you'll see a really clean uh, move up this started uh, you know early 2013 as you can see big big ramp up it went from like 30 bucks all the way to about just shy of 200 S came down really hard uh, scared a lot of people and uh, we had a nice um, just pullback trade so you can see the market from the low there where it kind of started up into the high came down boom right into that 50 percent I don't have the label there um, I should show levels there we go and um, you can see it came right into there grabbed some some of us played it with options um, I played it with stock and some options um, watched it pop to the initial target within about a month or so um, kind of hesitated there for a while and then exploded uh, went right to the I believe it was the 1414 area uh, where we expected to go, which unsurprisingly was guess what? It was a one to one measured move or close to it. So if I if I go from here to here and I sort of duplicate that, right? So let me clone it and then just drag it over so you can see sort of the symmetry. Not exactly, right? Exactly would have been closer to about 275, but really, really close. Um, got to the 1414 lost its steam once i once we started seeing these candles right here uh the this one specifically this and then this one um it to me at least it was pretty evident that i thought we would start to see a retracement and the thought process at the time was man if we get lucky and this thing uh comes back down to this area i would love to buy it and the end and why the reason why i would love to buy it is because if I do this fib thing all over again, like I did from down here, from the low here where it restarted, remember where we bought, all the way to that high, you can see that 50% retracement right inside of that 50 to 618 level. It comes right inside where that previous area had resistance. So you can see Tesla went up, it had resistance here, and then it came down. When it broke through the resistance, right, now that, area of resistance is gonna become what? It's gonna become support. So that, in addition to the fact that the fibs are there, make for a very powerful move. And I had been watching this for weeks, saying if it comes down between 190 and 170, I wanna buy it. So uh, today, uh, you can see here a really wild day for Tesla. And so this is the daily chart. And what's interesting about the daily chart is again, you can see it kind of came down here. That was the initial move down, then it rallied back up. And when it did that, my thought was, okay, let's see if it retests, retests this low. And if it breaks it, we're probably going to head into that area. And again, we can use our fibs to find predictive levels, right? We can look at a market's move. And then even if you don't necessarily trade fibs, you can use fibs to find predictive areas where that market will move, right? So you either know where to take profits off or or uh, or maybe where it may reverse, which, which we did in our case. So check this out. I'm going to take my fibs again, and I'm going to measure from the high here, right? So the market went from the high here down to this low, right? And it, it chopped along, but the more significant move here is what? It's from, let me draw this, right? It went from the high here right down to that area right there so this thing is getting in the way but you can see right there right it went from here and then it retraced back up it bounced up like this and then it hit that 50 percent you see you see the similarities it bounced up it hit the 50 percent where else did we see that right let's look at the weekly remember it bounced down here and it hit what the 50 percent right i'll do it again just so you can see it what happened boom right 50 percent so this Tesla likes fibs clearly and um, all markets really do but some markets 
some specific stocks or commodities or whatever, sometimes they really respect them. Um, so you can see, bounced up, hit the 50. Thought process is, if this market's going to take out this low, right? if it ends up taking it out, coming back down and then breaking it, where could it go to next? And the first number we look at when we're looking at FIBs, extensions is the 127, right? It's the most common FIB extension out there. And what happens? As soon as it breaks, boom, right to 185. That 185, that 127, if I put a horizontal line again, right where that 127 is where? Guess where it is? It's exactly at the same point where this 50% is right which is exactly at the same point where that previous structure resistance was now is support so that was what we call confluence it's where multiple things are lining up with one another and that's what makes for a strong signal in this case a buy signal so I'm long here uh, Tesla um, with a stop just below so I started getting around 190 I'm not in a full position yet um, but I've got to stop just below uh, the 170 area. So I've got one right around 164. So it's you know significantly below. Not significant, but enough. Um, and the reason is, is I want to give it some buffer room in the event that it kind of pierces through here. Uh, where I'm looking for profits moving forward over the next couple of weeks is I'm going to take this fib. Let me get rid of this line here. Right, and I'm gonna just imagine, I'll remove this one just to make it easier. I'll remove this, and I'll remove this. Right, so we went up, what happened? We went from the low to the high here, it bounced off the 50. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure this high to the, to the low where we are right now, and this is assuming that this is where it's gonna stop. If it keeps going low, we're gonna, we're gonna adjust. But for the time being, let's say that, let's imagine that this is the lowest point it hits, right, right around this area. The first area that I'm looking to take profits is going to be the 50% area. So you see the 50 right there, 224. So that's roughly where I'm looking for Tesla to rebound to in, say, the next few weeks. It could take two weeks. It could take five weeks. This is a weekly chart, so each one of these candles is a week. That's what I'm looking for, okay? So stop 164. If it gets into the 180s and 170s, I'm going to continue buying it. Um, and then I will stop buying it once, right around 170, 172. From there, I'll place a stop. I should probably go lower than 164, but I'm keeping it there unless it moves lower. Um, and then if it does, boom. So right now it's a 164. I'm going to risk about from entry point about 20 to 25 dollars to make uh, more than that about 40 dollars okay that's on the first target at which point we'll take off half and then see if it can get up to about 240 and then and then see if it can retest the high so we'll kind of follow this along that's the first trade and I know I've taken quite a bit of time um, the next one real quickly Amazon um, if you've taken any of the ratio trading courses before you know exactly what this is uh, this is a ratio trade uh, right here from the last low to the high. And by the way, look at the similarities here. What happens when it hit the 50? Boom. And this is what we're expecting out of Tesla. Comes into the 50%, boom, back up. Now, in this case, it went back up and then it failed, right? It went back up, got our targets. Our first target, we bring it to break even and then we get we break even on the rest. It comes back down, and this is where you have multiple areas of confluence here. So if I bring in the 786, again, you, you have, if you haven't taken uh, a ratio trading course before, go to ratiotrading.com. We have uh, course listings there. Um, you can buy them, watch them as much as you want. Um, that'll teach you that the ratio trade. Bought around three low 300s. Uh, stop is below 278. Okay, below this lowest low here. Uh, and the first target that we're looking for is from the high here down to that low. And we're looking for a move up to about 350. Okay, so that's the first target. Um, and then we'll see if it continues going. So those are the two trades um, I got in today. They look very, very nice. They look very, very clean. Uh, 
the rest of the market has been interesting. A lot of people are sort of panicking, wondering what's going to happen. Are the markets due to fail? Or, you know, we're hearing that a lot. I'm watching it. I'm skeptic up here. Um, this thing has spent a lot of time kind of hovering in this tight little range. A lot of times when you see that, that means that it's getting ready to correct. Doesn't mean that it will, though. We've seen a lot of little candles on the way up. But this is starting to look a little bit tired here. So don't be surprised if we start to see some retracements occur. And sometimes you start seeing them in tech before you start seeing them everywhere else. So um, th I'm paying attention to this. I'm also paying attention to gold, of course, um, which has been hanging out here, really doing nothing. Take a look at this low, high, came down to the 50. We got some, a <laughs> I got some a long time ago in this range. Hasn't really done much waiting to see what happens. Um, so watching that and that's really, I mean, there's a bunch of other stocks and commodities that are out there that you can trade intraday and stuff like that. Um, Tesla and Amazon were ones that I'm paying attention to for now. Those are the biggies, uh, from there, we'll kind of just keep watching and, and, and go from there. So, uh, lastly, but not least, um, we have a Patreon page that we just started um, patreon.com forward slash ratio trading and what you can do is you can donate either three or eight dollars a month uh, to allow us to con allow me to continue doing these videos I'd love to do them twice a week um, if we can raise up to 750 a month I'll do two videos a week that's four videos a month um, if we do if we can get up to 1500 we'll do I'll do four videos a week that's 16 videos a month and so on and so forth so there's a lot of different sort of rewards as we get if we can move up higher um so if you're interested in supporting uh you can do that um that's it so thank you guys very much sorry for the long video uh and we'll see you guys next time